hi guys welcome to my channel Celeste 13 for you uh, today we've got some of the most viewed cringe videos on YouTube and we're going to start off with a really good one a kid that almost has a panic attack through getting a hug yes and uh, I'll leave it to you to hear who it's from without further ado here we go before I do I want to tell you something that happened to me today I was, I got hugged by a girl. I cannot believe what happened to me today. I got hugged by a girl and she is pr pretty hot, might I add. And she hugged me for two seconds. For two seconds, she hugged me. And, um, and I. <laughs> it's, this is one of the happiest days of my life. I got hugged. I got hugged by a girl. And she was my cousin, um, and she, and she just came out of nowhere, and she, she wanted a hug, so I just hugged her, and I'm just getting luckier and luckier with girls every day. First, um, first I got a girlfriend, and then... Then, um, and now I'm hugged, I got hugged by a girl. And, and a few years ago I got kissed by a girl. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna update you with, with some more news on my experiences with girls. As the days go by. Next, by the signs of it, we have a young couple who've come back to their house after being out to find someone in the garden who was trying to break into the house and uh, apparently he turns around and says to him he was sleepwalking then uh, he forgot how he got there, he didn't know how he got there and then as he was leaving he says sorry about trying to break into your house and then realised what he was doing and says I didn't try and break in your house I don't know, stupid people do stupid things I suppose here we go. You climb over? Yeah. Are you recording me? You trying to break into my house? No, I was sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Yeah. Bro, if I you, you know, you know we have an alarm here too, right? That's why I'm leaving right now. Have I done anything? What was channel break in my house for? Who said I was? Alright, see you later. How many more guys you have? Huh? Wait, what? You climb over. I don't know how I even got here. I want to see you go, uh, uh, I want to see you leave. Okay, can you open this for me? No, you climb over, you're going to climb over. Are you recording me? Of course. Oh, if you, if you do record me and I see you on Facebook, I'm going to see you guys. How did you get in? I don't even know. You, you have to, if you, if you do keep it, you have to delete it. What are you doing? You trying to break into my house? I didn't break into your house. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh. Are you guys going to be? Into a people's house like this. I didn't Just call the police on him. Let's call him. Are you to you? Holy shit. I'm calling. This is ridiculous. What are you talking about? Alright, see you guys later. Oh. Oh, sorry, I broke into your house. I'm just kidding. I didn't even break into your house. I don't know how I even got in. Oh, uh, hi. I have someone that's climbing. Next, we have a 
a kid again, a hallway monitor, yes, a prefect, who kind of, uh, let's say, takes his job to another level. I was one of the kids that, you know, probably would have bullied this kid. Sorry to say, I was a bit of an idiot when I was younger. Walked about with a chip on my shoulder, but uh, this guy kind of takes it too far. Here we go. Next, we have a teenage werewolf, and that's all he wants to be. And he goes to school dressing the way he dresses, he looks the way he does. Even his mother wants him to try and, you know, be normal. But these days, what is normal? I mean, we're in the age of the PC world, political correctness on steroids. I mean, anything's acceptable these days. Uh, Things sometimes have been taken to a, a bit too far and all. But it is what it is. Let people do and be what they want, I say, as long as it don't hurt others. Anyway, we've uh, got the first few videos out the way. So as per usual, I'll just keep the rest running as they go. Let's get on with it. Werewolf. And go ahead and laugh and make fun of me, but I believe all of us have something supernatural mixed in us but you want to know what I'm getting sick of I'm getting sick of getting made fun of Josh like when I walk in to class late and the teacher will ask why I'm late and before I can answer Josh will be like because he got done sucking Daffy Duck's dick that's really funny Josh yeah because my lipstick's black that's really funny yeah I jumped through the TV and sucked Daffy Duck's dick Josh that's what I did. Too bad you got sent to ISS, fag. And then you'll take out, you'll, you'll get the classmates around and be like, quick, somebody get my silver so I can slay the werewolf. Well, hey, Josh, look, I have silver. Look, am I dying? Am I? And then you'll pretend to get fake phone calls from Van Helsing and tell him to come in the classroom and kill me. Well, you know what, Josh? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. And then you call me Edward Scissorhands? Well, hey, look, I brought some scissors this time, Josh. Now, look, I'm really Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. You want me to carve you something? Huh? And you know what my mom did? She, because I told her I was getting made fun of, she bought me an Xbox 360 saying I need to blend in with normal teens. Well, you know what, mom? I brought that Xbox 360 that you got me. And it's right here. It's right here, mom. Look. And you know what? I don't want to play Xbox. I don't want to fit in. I just want to be a teen werewolf.
This is Joseph. I'm emo, and uh, I hate people that say I'm not. Just call me emo kid. Don't call me potato, please, please. It just gets on my f nerves, okay? Just don't do it. I swear to God, some emos do not cut themselves. I looked that up on Yahoo. All right, give it up for all you people that don't think I'm emo. Go f yourself. I said it right. Go yourself if you think I'm not emo you know I am even though I don't f cut myself or f cry all right do it just with a few people here just to get a flavor if anybody has a diagnosis they want to share and laugh about <laughs> that'd be great and if you don't then what I've done is combine it with the ha ha mantra which is, you'll say your name, and then say something that happened recently to you that normally would really bum you out, and share it with us, and we'll laugh at it. So it's that whole psychology of, you know, turning lemons into lemonade, okay? So here's, I'll, and I always start and say, here's how it looks. So, my name is Gita. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, I've just joined um, Anonymous about, say, literally three months ago, and um, I didn't believe about it, to be honest with you. And um, basically, um, I've been brought a light, and I've seen how corrupt our government is, and how everything is. So um, I'm here to make a change with every other people here, as you can see. And basically, like that, you got um, big companies that's not paying tax, like Starbucks, etc. I could go on for so long, but at the end of the day, they're not paying taxes and they're making it harder on us people that are trying to survive in this world, that are born and, and raised in this country and whatnot and you know, et etc. Et and basically, like, I'm here just to, like, support Anonymous, really. Like, that's about it, really, to be honest. Young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, Will, you <laughs> the place that they have made. Because one day, I'll leave you a phantom to lead you in the summer to join the black he said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers? When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, will you defeat them, your demons, and all the non-believers? This is the story of a girl spread around her drowning old world. <laughs> Why are you
Con conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, conductor, we have a problem. 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 Conductor, we have a fucking problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Conductor, we have a problem. Press emergency to talk. Conductor, we have a problem. 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 Can you please, can you please let me push the button over here? Conductor, we have a problem. 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 Conductor, have it doesn't matter. Can you imagine somebody shooting the shit up and you had a problem? You got a gun on you? You know, get off of me, you. He's, he's been with me for a long time. This routine I've been working on for quite some time now. Um, in my bedroom, a lot of the times my mother always calls me down for dinner. I don't, I don't want that. Okay. Um, sir. Oh, this guy's perfect. Yo, how you doing, man? Um, I want to right now. Um, no, can you hang up? I want to show you something that's important. Yo, I'll call you back next time. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah, what's up? How you doing? My name's 34th Legend. What's your name? Alright, so today we're just going to sick. Say, are you familiar with grime step? No, it's grime step. It's like dub step, but it's like thousand times better. Okay. All right. Can, uh, do you know what beatboxing is? Yeah. Well, I'm the disciple of Lucic Diamond Eyes. You probably heard of him. All right. Here we go. <laughs> is right here. I'm going Get to the there. emergency room, sir. Get in there. Where? Get out of my car now. Where is my Get destination? Get out of my car now. Sir, I'm asking you. Get out you of my car now. I have the right to tell you when to get out of my car, I it's am, right now. I don't know where I am. I'm asking you where is my destination, if you will kindly point I at where I am. pulled into your destination. It said here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said 1760. Get out of my car now. Sir, it said... Get out of my car now! Why are you yelling at me? Because you won't fucking get out of my car! But you're not to yell at me. You are not to yell at me. One. Do it. Do it. Do it. Get out of my car. Where is my destination? Get out of my car. Sir, can you just tell Get me? Get out of my goddamn car! Now! Sir, can you please tell me where my destination is? I don't Get can out you, of the car can you please tell me Get where my destination is? Now. The ride is over. You have been extremely rude, extremely condescending How this whole have thing. I been extremely rude? You kept me waiting way too long. You showed up and told me you were in a hurry when you showed no actual effort to be in a hurry. Get out of my car now. I am just Get out of you. my car now! I don't know where I am. Get out of my car now! God damn you to hell! Sir. Get out of my car! I am asking Get out you... of my car! It is my fucking goddamn property! Get out! Now! Now! You are facing Get very... Get out right fucking now! You are... Alright, I want to talk to you, Blue Summer. You know, the other day... I was checking one of my videos for comments, 
and when I looked to the site and related videos, I found a clone of my video. It had the exact same thumbnail and the exact same name as my video does. So I clicked on it and I just couldn't believe it. I don't even know how you copied and pasted it, but but you can't just Some interesting career plans. Tell us about your career plans. Yeah, I'd like to be either a stand-up comedian or a baseball manager. Stand-up comedian or a baseball manager. Oh wait, come, come on up here. Yeah, they just don't want you to talk into the microphone quite that closely. It's, it's on and it's working fine. You're okay. okay. So you want to be a stand-up comedian. Tell me, uh, what kind of jokes do you do? Well, um, I make phony phone calls to 1-800 numbers. Um, yeah. um, I, make, <laughs> I make fake surveys and go to random people who I don't know. And um, I tell knock-knock jokes. You tell knock-knock jokes. You can tell he's a comedian by the way he's working that microphone, you guys. Yeah, you can just stand right up there, Greg. It's cool. Just stand right there. That's right. cool the way it is. You tell knock-knock jokes. Yes. Would you guys like to hear a knock-knock joke by any chance? Okay, Gregory. Lay one on us. Let's hear it. Knock-knock. <laughs> Humpty. Humpty They call me Humpty. With with the Nazi, I really am kind of funky. Greg, ladies and gentlemen, come on, come on. Let's kill the hater. Okay. All right, here we go. I said, here we go. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay. I got my clip. I got my gun. Let's go find this hater, put a bullet in his fucking head, cause he's gonna be the one dying, no one else. Every motherfucking member of this crew is gonna be the one living. The hater's the one that's gonna die. So let's make it quick. Where's the hater at? Let's go find him. He's down on free, he's down on the freeway, 283. We're going down, we have a gun, a bullet, and it's ready for him. It's going right in his fucking head. He's gonna be the one down on the ground now. He's gonna feel the hot, the hot rush in his fucking head. He's gonna be the one that sees it all at the end. He's the one that's going to hell. Cause he dissed on us motherfucking juggalos. Us juggalos riders don't fucking play. We're gonna, we say we're gonna kill you, we fucking mean it. Just don't even tempt us. Cause you're just on the fucking road of dying. You're on your way to hell. Alright, let's find him now. We're on the road. Going down. Getting off the intersection at 283. There he is. See one hater? Pop. Second hater? Pop. Motherfucker's running. Hopped in his car. Let's go down and find him. We got out and started running. We found him. I popped him in his leg. He fell on the ground. Cocked my gun again. Looked him straight in the eyes. I said, Bitch, what you gonna do now? I'm standing over him. He's like, Dude, please don't kill me. I got a lot to live for. I said, Fuck you. It's your time to die. You're gonna feel the rush. Your blood's going all over the fucking drain. He's the one who's gonna die. Ben, replay the beat. Replay it? Yeah. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> okay. Looked him in the eyes. And I said, Fuck you, hater. You put me through a lot of shit. And the fucking 5 0 came into my house, killed my family, killed us all. But guess what? I'm still living. I got this fucking scratch. They cut me with the knife. Now I'm on this fucking place. I'm standing here over him. But wait a minute. 
here comes an SUV. I turned around, they shot two of my homies. Ben was on the ground. He's hit. My other homie, he's dead. I was pissed. I took my gun. I shot at him three times. But here's the thing. They had bulletproof glass. Hit me. I fucking fell on the ground. They smacked me out the car door. Got out the van. Got out the SUV. Started dragging their guy. I shot the one dragging him right in the fucking head. The other one had an M16, so I shot him in the fucking heart. Other one popped out the SUV with the Uzi, so I went. He's dead too. This motherfucker's trying to crawl in the SUV and go away. I said, fuck you. You're gonna die. Kill my homie. Ben, get your ass up. I want you to see this. This is what we came here to do. This motherfucker's gonna die now. The gun's at his head. He's going to fucking hell. Here we go. There you go, the last kid, Eminem, he's not, definitely not, bloody hell, couldn't even uh, keep to the beat, never mind the drum or anything else. Well, there we are for today's video, got to the end, I hope you uh, liked it, I'll continue with a cringe series as well as the happy vibe series and shocking videos. I'll keep just to two or three topics and that will be it. I'll keep the videos coming. Till next time, catch you on the rebound. Bye.